What's up guys, Motonocity here, and today I'm going to show you guys my GoPro chin mount on my Shoei RF 1200, um, but this setup should work for just about any helmet that you can have um, because I had to work around a few things. If you follow my videos, you know that I used to have a Drift HD Ghost. It's another action camera, and I had it mounted on the left side of my old RF 1100, and when I got this helmet, I wanted to switch it up and get a GoPro. Um, well, I already had a GoPro, but I knew the quality was better on the GoPro, and um, I wanted to be able to integrate with multiple GoPros rather than having two different types of cameras for all my videos. Uh, so I, I sold the uh, sold the drift, got my uh, GoPro set up, and decided on this setup because this is the setup that I liked the most from the videos that I had seen from other people. Um, and I thought that this was the viewpoint that worked best on a helmet. Only issue is that on showy helmets, um, and hopefully you'll be able to see this on the video, is that there's this small ridge here, um, and it basically goes, goes up and then goes in on the helmet. Um, and this is something that's on all their helmets. I think on my showy 1100 it was um, even worse, uh, but that made it really difficult to mount the GoPro because normally you would just take a um, one of these curved mounts, get this uh, focused in a bit, take one of these curved mounts, mount it vertically on the front, and then use a couple of these connectors and have it mounted right there. No issue, right? Um, well, with a lot of helmets, you have stuff going on up here and there's no flat surface for you to mount it on. Um, so you find, have to find another solution. And this is a solution that I found um, for me and I think it's perfect and I think it'll work for just about any helmet because I haven't come across a helmet that doesn't have a flat surface on the side here. So I'm going to show you guys how I have this set up. So I'm going to take the, take the GoPro off and give you guys a little better look. All right, so here it is with the GoPro off. I'm gonna be having all the links um, for every single part in this video in the description. The helmet, the GoPro, the GoPro case, the connectors that you need, the mic adapter, the actual microphone that I use, um, so that you guys can check all of those out if you like them, um, just to make it easy for you guys. So here is the setup that I have. Again, I have it mounted on the side because we have a little ridge going on in the front um, and not much space to operate with. So I have a curved mount mounted on the side. Um, and then what we have here is using the GoPro front mount um, kit that you can buy. It's like $9 on Amazon. Um, and that just gives you some of these uh, extenders. They don't change the direction of the connection at all. Um, so you just connect a couple of these connectors. And then we have the, um, I believe this is the side mount um, kit. Uh, but if you, got, if you got a GoPro, you li likely have these connectors um, from your kit that came with your camera. Um, this one just is, is a long piece that changes the direction. So the slots are going this way, and then on the other end the slots are going this way. Um, and then this one is just a uh, another 90 degree turn short connector. So whereas these don't change the direction and they're short, this one does change the direction and it's short. Um, so this is what I've used here. Now depending on what, uh, where your flattest surface is on the side, you may need an additional front mount kit so that you can extend these a little farther. Um, but for me, <coughs> excuse me, for me, just one set of this front mount was all I needed. So it has one short, one short, one long 90, and one short 90. And that puts this GoPro so that the lens is directly in the center of this uh, this helmet. Um, and if we put it on the side, you'll notice that, if I can get it in there, that's what she said, um, it tilts up a little, and I actually have found that even on my R1, I want this, go ahead and get a little better focus. Um, on, even on my R1, I don't want this tilted all the way back, even when I'm um, 
well, when I'm sitting in a more aggressive seating position, I'd want it all the way back, but you have some room to operate here. And this is gonna, this is gonna be different for all, t all helmets because the position of this is gonna be a little different, um, depending on how many pieces you use. But this gives you some room to operate here, um, and you're gonna want it tilted back at least a little. But I have it in a position kinda like this, and when I'm riding my R1 or my uh, WR250X, this puts it in a great position no matter what. Um, with the wide view, you're gonna get everything. So, um, the other thing is that I wanted the, I, I didn't, I love the look of the drift on the side of the helmet, um, and I didn't wanna compromise um, at least a ton of looks for this. I know I've got this unit here, but this is fairly small. Um, but I wanted to get the black case. So this is the black case from Hero 3 Plus. Um, you can get these for 40 or $50. Um, and it's the smaller Hero 3 Plus case. Uh, my GoPro is a Hero 3, planning on getting a, a 3 Plus, or not a 3 Plus, a uh, GoPro 4 when it comes out. We'll see if they use the same form factor. But what I did here, actually not what I did, but um, I uh, uh, met up with Loudon Dave. He's another Moto Vlogger um, that lives near me. And he he's done this before, so I wanted to have him do it. Let me get a little bit closer. Uh, just basically uh, used a little Dremel tool and carved out a hole here for the adapter. Um, basically a perfect fit, just so that there's, it's not obviously not waterproof, but just in regular riding, even if you're in a downpour, this is not gonna get into the camera. You're not gonna have to worry about any water around here. Um, and what we're using here is the 90 degree um, ad adapter. The regular stock GoPro adapter is not only really, really thick in this, in this connector, but it's also bulky in the whole entire thing. This makes it really, really, really um, kind of uh, stealth. So we put it in here and it makes it pretty small there. You don't have a big thing sticking out the side. Um, I'll have a link for this. You're gonna wanna make sure to buy the one from the correct uh, supplier, otherwise this is not gonna work. It's not gonna turn on your audio for you. Um, so you're gonna wanna make sure you buy it from the right supplier. I will have a link um, with uh, letting you know which supplier you need to buy from. I can't remember off the top of my head, but it's in the description. Uh, but this will allow you to connect this, it'll turn on audio and get your recording of the audio just fine. Um, and it kind of uh, reduces volume of what you got going on here. Um, so that's that. This black case from the Hero 3 Plus to make it a little slimmer and uh, stealthier. The hole for this um, special 90 degree adapter. Um, what I have going on here is this adapter coming down here and I just used a piece of black uh, duct tape. Picked it up from Home Depot. Just to keep these things in place and keep it dark and not using random colors here. So let's lift this up a bit. Just so you guys can see this. So here we have this coming around here. Again, curve mount, front mount kit. Then uh, long 90, short 90. Um, the thing you'll notice on here is these screws that I have here. You'll be like, well, those aren't the regular GoPro thumb, thumb screws. And uh, no, they aren't. So I got this idea from SpacePod, and he uses these. Um, but there's a specific size that you can get. You can pick them up from Home Depot, Lowe's, or I'll have a link to Amazon where you can get a pack of 50 for like $5. Um, and you're going to want. Sorry, I went to the wrong way. Um, you're gonna want these, M5.8 by 20. M5 is gonna be the, the size of this, the, the head. Um, 0.8 is gonna be the threading, and 20 is gonna be the length of the actual screw. And this is a perfect fit. You could not have it any better. This is the exact same as the GoPro thumb screws, and it basically runs up just straight flush into the plastic. Um, and it really, really cleans up this look. Now, you, can, you, don't, you don't have to get this just for helmet use. Um, 
If you wanna get this for any other place that you're gonna have a GoPro mounted, it really helps clean up this look. And you can get these in this black anodized steel, I believe it is, um, or black oxide, I don't know. You can get these in black, <laughs> um, as Batman would ask. So that really helps clean up this look. Um, but let's continue down the line the mic that I'm using. Um, it's a Sony mic. I can't remember the model number, but I'll flash it on the screen right now, and again, it's in the description. But I love this mic. I think the sound quality is great. Um, you just have to work with where you have it mounted and kind of uh, be patient with it, do a few tests, and figure out what's the best mounting position for you. Hopefully this is light enough. Then I can, whoops, get focused in here a bit. Um, so you see I have it mounted right here, and it's kind of tucked behind the front of my cheek pad. So the mic comes in, comes back here, all the wiring is hidden back behind this cheek pad, and then I have a fur cover over the mic um, right back here, and it kind of keeps it in place behind the cheek pad, and I love the quality. I think it sounds great. Um, there's no, at least not a lot of wind noise. I have a little bit of wind noise because I don't use my um, little chin curtain thing right here. Um, it'd probably be better if I did or if I had a different fur cover. Um, but almost no wind noise unless I'm going really fast. And the sound quality for t vlogging is spectacular. So that's the whole setup. And that is uh, what I'm using here to do a chin mount for the GoPro on my Shoei RF 1200. Again, this probably will work for just about any helmet because most helmets have a flat spot here. And then we have, um, if you want to use this, this, this is the new Sina 20S, best Bluetooth headset that you could possibly use in the market. I love this thing. If you don't have one, you need to get it. Link in the description. Um, but if you have any questions about this, be sure to leave a comment. I'll ask, answer anything that you guys have. Um, here are the little screws. Boom. Um, but yeah, uh, again, I'm Odinasi. Uh, if you have any questions, leave it below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. You would, let's go this way.